Hello everybody, Flame and Shark back with another video and today we're going to be checking out episodes 93 through 95 of Gintama, our penultimate episode of Double Digits. We will be wrapping up Double Digits in the next video. That's pretty crazy to think that we're going to be in Triple Digits and once we enter Triple Digits, there's no leaving Triple Digits because thankfully this show does not go into Quadruple Digits, but uh... Yeah, I'm I'm excited. We've done some big sets lately. Well, we, we, we had a four and a two, but we combined them into a six. And then we had a five last time. This is a bit of a smaller one. We're just tackling three episodes today. Recording this on Monday night, so you guys are, you know, a little, a little ahead, you know. Hopefully, by the end of the night, I should have everything recorded through this video. Um, so who knows where I'll be by Friday. Um I'm not sure if we'll get anything recorded on Tuesday because I'm kind of busy on Tuesday, but nevertheless, we're, things are things are cooking. I think we could fairly confidently look at, at least for a good little while, um, you know, having one video is probably popping up every day, but specifically Gintama um, on the Fridays, which is what we're looking at at the moment. So really good stuff there, but I'm excited for some more Gintama. Not really a whole lot else to say. I think the last video was really fun. A little a little more chill, but there was a lot of entertaining stuff all around. It feels like a little bit of a come down after a lot of intense stuff in the that we covered in the six episode video that we did previously, uh, 82 to 87. Um, so uh, yeah, a lot of fun stuff. Uh, we learned how to lose weight, totally, which uh, among many other ridiculous hijinks so episode 93 is called even heroes have their problems too very basic title could mean a lot honestly i don't really know what to make of that title i think this is kind of one that i just need to see because i mean hero could be referring to my guess would be gintoki because he's like the main character he's the protagonist but i mean hero could be referring to a great number of characters in this show or even a character we haven't met yet i mean honestly that title doesn't give me a whole lot to work with. It's a pretty normal title that I could see in a lot of anime. As opposed to some Gintama titles, which feel so ridiculous that they only belong in Gintama. But this is one that's more basic, I, I guess you might say. So, I'm excited for this. Don't really have too much else to say. Uh, I'm ready to just hop right in. So, let's not waste any time and let's get to some... Gin Tama action. I'm excited to get my way out of the double digits, and to do that, I gotta get this video and next video done. So, anyways, let's check out episode 93 of Gin Tama in three, two, one, and play. We got an Ultraman opening parody. Obviously, a reference I don't get. I mean, I, 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 I know of Ultraman, but I don't know anything about it. Valentine's Day, Wild Fantasy Special Edition, Space Battle Number One. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the warning. That's great. Charlie's Angels fifth season opening. That's an interesting. Um... Yeah, I'm excited for Gintama. Monster Shogun Colonel Cherry makes his appearance. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck? I'm going to assume this is like one massive Ultraman reference. What the fuck? So is it like Ultra Gintama is gonna, about to introduce Ultra Woman to us? Like what the fuck is going on? I can tell this episode just going to be one massive Ultraman reference though based on the beginning. Woo! 
Nice. I I I will still never get over the mayo lighter. I'm just gonna do the eyes closed for now. What the literal fuck? And the women are losing their mind. Jesus Christ. Dude, Katsuno Anna about to, about, oh, literally about to fuck some bitches up. Holy shit. That's why we love her. Interesting, she didn't know what it is. Yeah, I can tell you completely forgot about it based on your interesting appearance, bro. What in the world, boys? Let's get that zoom out, camera. Oh my god. What the hell? I mean, Yinchan looks pretty good. Wow. 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 Totally not. I mean, that part's true. But you guys never have any money, so that part doesn't really make any sense. Wow. Yeah. They look normal to me. What the fuck? Occasionally you should let me do it. Oh my god, even Sadaharu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Wow. They just beat up the gas fees, man. That's not the type of promise you should make. Exactly. So I'm assuming it's that woman from the intro that just fell from the sky? Oh. Or chocolate. Fucking welcome. Oh shit. What the fuck? She's that tall. Oh my god. What the fuck? A fucking breathalyzer. A <laughs> flying license. Yeah, totally. Oh, girl, literally the size of a fucking two-story building. Oh my god, that's terrifying. This is what happens, Kagura, when you wish, you know, wish to God for something like this. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, we noticed. Space woman, okay. Of course. Interesting. Uh huh.
Yeah. In other words, she's lazy. Yeah, totally. Damn, she was about to ask out, what, Spaceman? Doki Doki time? More or less. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, to be fair, he's done some pretty cool shit. Don't hate. Yeah, we might as well suck up to her. Oh my god. Bro. Yes, he is also the. You could be the source of all evil. I love how he just figured that out right away. That, that, that was the guess, even though. What? Excuse me? Fucking calling mom. Well, at least they have rice on, um, that world. What the fuck? Oh, bro. Wow. Space woman over there is salty. Is that going to be, is that going to be Space Woman's love interest? Jesus Christ. Or an enemy to fight. I'm going to guess an enemy to fight. What the fuck? This is the Colonel Cherry or whatever the fuck they said. Because bro's literally got a cherry, a pair of cherries on his head like fucking... King Tama over there, what the fuck? Or is this is this her her boy? Is this her love interest? Damn. 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 That's Trust me, girl, you're fine. Damn. Sure, sure, it makes sense. Damn. Damn. Bro, those faces are so freaky. Damn, that's kind of rough. Holy shit, that's not very super her heroin of you. A little sus, for sure. Uh... Yeah? Wild. Yeah, that's honestly a good question to ask. What the hell? Bro with the fucking cherry... The cherry head showed up. Yep, there he is. Two two cherries in a on a like I was gonna say peas in a pod, but you you get it. Or a pair of cherries. Wow. So they fell in love as a 
heroine and uh, villain. Yep. Monster Shogun Colonel Cherry. What a fucking name. Yeah. Eh. That is the appropriate reaction from all three of the Yorozuya. Alright. Let's see. Are they going to fight? Make love? What's going to happen? Wow. Damn, it's all about love. Well, I mean, nothing more important to fight for than love, right? Or, or she could turn into a villain and then... Oh, I bet. Yeah. She's nervous. She's embarrassed. Aw. Poor girl. Yeah, you are a heroine. You can't let this stop you. Sure. Damn. Yeah, I was about to say, that's not a great way to put it there, girl. Oh my god. These visuals are ridiculous. And now you're about to take back shots. Fucking hell. What the fuck? What the hell now? All that was missing was a cock bulge. Damn. Wow! What the hell? Plot twist! Wow. This and, and, and the and the simmering romance weaves another web. Wow. This episode is so weird. I'm sure if, if if I was familiar with Ultraman, this would be this would be hilarious. But holy shit, this is weird. Honestly, yes. An emotional entanglement on such a gigantic scale. What a strange love triangle we've developed. Damn. I mean, she doesn't really need protection either, though. Oh, and you have to call your mom. Aw. Oh, no. Aw. Not her name's Akiko, huh? Aww. 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 
What the fuck? This is so fucking absurd. Yep. Sure. Sure, that's also fair. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Fair enough. Not necessarily true, but I think the advice isn't the worst either. Yep. Yep. Holy shit, bro! Damn! Nice. Nasty kick and hit him with hit him with an ultra swing. I think of that. I think of that. Yeah, don't bother. Not at all. Oh, trust me, she's about to attack you in a way you're ne you'll never expect. Come on, you had so much confidence dealing with Hiroshi. You gotta have that same confidence with Colonel Cherry. Yeah, actually, yes. That's even more awkward. Oh no! Oh no! Do we have another Zard Toby? Wow. Yep. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Aww! The fucking music too. When well, now 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 they're in fucking school uniforms. What the hell? That's such a King Thomas thing to do. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. What the fuck? Kagura Gein, you two are too much. Oh my god, and now Shimpachi. Pachi, Pachi. What the hell? Damn. He does kind of look like a girl, though. I'm not going to lie. The pigtails, kind he kind of rocks that shit. Oh, there's Space Woman. Yep. I love how, like, the implication being, like, this is all happening in, like, their head. It's, like, some weird interpretation of what's actually happening in real life. Aww. Wow. Imagine people being this supportive. This is actually kind of reminding me a little bit of a different show that I'm reacting to. I'm sure many of you know which one. Where'd you get all the fucking chocolates? Oh no! Oh, die! Bro just got cooked! Get cooked! Well, I guess you should have went with Hiroshi. What a result. What a wild outcome. Oh, and now she's got to make another call to mom. Oh no.
This is probably how all of her all her adventures go, honestly. What a crazy episode. I don't even know what to say to that. It was something, that's for sure. Rawa. Dude, I love this song. I just love the sound of the singer. And the instrumentals match this, it really well. Speed of flow. Heading to Edo. I'm not one for the smoking makes you look cooler trope, but for Elizabeth, fuck yeah. That shit, that shit, that shit's real as fuck. Holy guacamole. That was, uh, that was a weird one. I'm not entirely sure what to make of that episode, but that was episode 93 of Gintama. That was, uh, even heroes have their problems too, and it is true. And I could definitely see, like, uh, uh, on a, you know, in various forms, it's a, a very common trope in, in stories with, like, superheroes and stuff like that, that they, uh, have a complicated love life for, a multitude of reasons that you could kind of, you know, you could ascertain just by thinking about it logically. But um, it's kind of one of those things where it's really interesting because I I feel like uh, that episode, obviously one giant Ultraman reference, and obviously if you're um, more familiar with Ultraman, you'll get more out of the reference. But I think just look, you know, taking that out of the equation and just looking at the episode at face value, um, it was it was amusing for sure. It was definitely pretty ridiculous. But uh, of course, as per usual, the majority of the time I say that it, or as it pertains to Gintama, I mean that in a good way, obviously. Um, this was certainly no exception. That was definitely fun. I'm not really sure what to make of that episode overall. Like I said, it was definitely it was definitely a wild time, and um, I'm definitely excited for uh, how that develops moving forward. As far as if uh, we get any sort of thematic continuation, and what I mean by that is, do we get any like Valentine stuff? You know, is that, was that kind of like a one-off Valentine's thing? Or do we maybe theme, maybe there's some degree of a recurring theme. Like maybe we get like a, a Sachan Yin episode maybe next time or something, you know. Um, probably not. Knowing Gintama, probably not. We're probably going to move on to something completely different. But uh, I'd be interested to see because that was like a Valentine's thing. It was romantic, but it was focused on original characters to this episode right it wasn't focused on any of our recurring cast so i'm curious if they'll want to do anything similar with some of the recurring cast uh I, w I wouldn't be completely surprised if they went in a direction like that but thinking about it more probably not that doesn't that that seems unlikely but it's possible for sure um overall that was a fun episode i don't really have a lot to say about it though i mean it was ridiculous. It was fun. There was definitely some, you know, like silly romance memes and like just a really, you know, crazy, ridiculous um, love triangle. The, you know, a lot of melodrama that, uh, in another context, I'd I'd uh, really enjoy because I, you know, why not, right? But um, here it was all just kind of I feel like just kind of poking fun at like superhero relationships and and just you know the struggles. Right. And like they're, they're kind of and, and there certainly is a recurring theme in the show of like 
the idea of finding a partner and settling down and people wanting other people to be happy. And there's a, there's definitely a strong recurring theme of people trying to find their own happiness, whatever that looks like, whether that it does involve finding someone to love and spend your time with and cherish or finding love in the simpler things. You know, when you look at like Gene Toki, for example, he, he, I think is a great example of that. So I definitely think there, that is a recurring theme. Like it comes up a lot with, um, with Kondo and, and his, you know, quest for love, obviously Sarutobi, you know, Sachan's quest for love. Like there's, there's a bunch of people that have, um, themes, narratives like that as it pertains to Gintama. And I think it's interesting how it does feel like with a lot of these characters, they don't end up with people. And I think that kind of speaks a bit to um, the idea that you can find other ways to be happy and everyone has their own form of happiness. It looks different for everyone. So I think that's an interesting thing that does seem to come up in Gintama. Uh, from time to time and uh, I feel like this episode while not emphasizing it with any recurring characters was still kind of generally looking at that that for better or worse space woman has to protect the universe and um, while she does yearn for the love of another she also um, does still go down this road, even knowing how it's left her single um, at age 37. So there is that. <laughs> but also it was just ridiculous. It was Tama. I don't really know how much else to say, how, what else to say about that necessarily. But uh, episode 94, when riding on the train, remember to hold on to the handles with both hands. So I guess we're going to be on a train that goes stupidly fast or stops super fast or something like that. Some sort of train adventure, which I don't think we've had really anything go down on a train in the series. So I guess we're nearly 100 episodes into Gintama. I guess it's time for a train-centric episode. Hey, we're going to be on a train it wouldn't be the worst time for an Evangelion reference. That's all I'm going to say. You know, maybe I'm going to call my shot. I'm going to Babe Ruth that shit. Like, who knows? But, um, no, I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't know what this episode will entail. I don't really know what a train episode looks like in Gintama, but I'm down. Let's, let's do it. Why not? Let's check out episode 94. All right, let's check out. Episode 94 of Gintama in 3, 2, 1, and play. Oh my god, we got another like meta thing where it's like the original, yep, BG only, background only. Yep. It's like the very basic sketches, yep, yep, yep. That actually is better looking than I thought it would be, that... Yeah, oh my god, if they do a whole episode like this, holy shit, if they do a whole episode like this. Yo, this is so cool. Like the footstep sounds and like the little edits, like sound effects and all this stuff. Oh, this is so cool. Right, you see like A4, A5, A6, A7, like the different like... Yep, A8, like the different shots that you work through and all that. Like, there's so much. Yep. Yep. There's so much here that's so cool. Yep. Yep, nothing's colored in. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool because it's like all the meta things are here. Yes. Yes, because it's, because it, the drawings have the frames, yep, because it's not animated yet, it's just drawn, and we're just drawing the specific shots, they obviously haven't drawn the in-between shots, you do that later in the, in the animation with the in-between frames and all that stuff, yep, yeah, okay, what's the deal there? And, like, I love the little things. You get to see the codes for, like, when they're going to say something. Sound effects. All this. All this is so cool. That person? Line photography. Sure.
Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah, they're showing they're showing the process here. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck? Wow, that's amazing. So it's just for the cold open then. A retake cut of the wrong costume. Yeah, he looks like really lame. Yep, 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 yep. Bro looks like a fucking one character. Damn, it got worse. It got worse. Holy shit. Yep. I know, right? Dude, they need to... Dude, this would be so great if they showed a shot of the actual guy. Oh, yeah, give me a shot of the director. Damn it. I was really hoping for a shot of the director. Great start to the episode, though. That was awesome. So, presumably, we're going to be back to normal and probably not even reference what happened in the cold open when we come back from the OP, if I had to guess. Like I said, I'm really curious how much longer we have with this OP. I feel like we're probably creeping up on the next opening. All right, here we go. Yep, no longer blurry. Everything's uh, colored in and animated. Lovely to see. Very fancy uh, restaurant. Okay, I just want to make sure. Aww. Interesting. She's by herself. Husband, brother, probably husband. Interesting. Oh. It's, I, oh. Oh, shit. Aww. Yeah, I didn't recognize her. Because uh, a lot of that stuff was really early on in the series. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, so she did have... She was on a date with someone. Interesting.
Yeah, because she hasn't been shown in forever. Bro, is he hiring them to be PIs? Is it not official? Is that what he's trying to say? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Wow. 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 Interesting. So it's a little, it's a little shady. What? Excuse me? Yeah, okay. He's definitely working for a fucked up company. Wow. Wow. Aw, that's actually kind of sweet. While Bro also talks about hiring Yeen to be a PI. Yeah, he's definitely working for a shady ass company, 100%. So far, Gein is holding on to the... Hey, let's go. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? What the fuck? Bro about to fucking accidentally kill himself? What the hell is happening? Bro! Bro! Jesus Christ! What the hell?! Bro accidentally jumped for it. Holy shit, Hasegawa. Oh my god. Damn that ass, though. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, unironically, might have found a way to lose his job before it really started. Yeah. Excuse me? Oh, my God. Holy shit. Wow. You're not going to answer it. Hasegawa, my guy. I feel for him so bad. He's my boy. Jesus. Had already done the Kinaku Buster is wild. Holy shit, Neen Toki. Yeah, how dare you? We played Pachinko together, motherfucker. Yep. 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 Yo! Wow. What the literal fuck? <laughs> oh my god, Kagura now. No way. Do we go three for three? No. We're not going to touch that. What the fuck? 
I mean, it, he probably feels like he's being interrogated right now by you three. Jesus Christ, seven days? <laughs> Kiniku Buster, I can't get over that. Yeah, that, that would be a good way to start. I was waiting for all three of them to simultaneously spit on them right there. Interesting. All right. Dude, Hasegawa can just never catch a break. It seems like every time something goes his way, three things go wrong. Oh my god, is this the... Yeah, this is the other guy. Oh shit. Oh, that just got even more awkward. Bro's literally a fucking Edgeworth over here. A fucking Ace Attorney character. Of course. Dude, are we... Oh my god. Ace Attorney? Oh my god, actually... Ace Attorney's old, a little bit old, a little bit older. Yeah, Ace Attorney's old enough to. The, the, yo, can we do an Ace Attorney reference, please? Fucking Gin Toki can spike his hair like Phoenix. Hit him with that Naruto shit. That'd be hilarious. Damn. Damn. Oh, he's going to say, if you sign the divorce to papers, I'll drop the charges. Damn, nah, I mean, he's trying to manipulate him. Yep. Yep, he's pointing at him. Mm-hmm. Damn, actually showing flashbacks in Gintama is wild. Like, yeah, flashbacks of earlier episodes. Damn. <sighs> Jesus. That's wild. There's Hatsu. <laughs> yep. Interesting transition. It's different. I mean, I mean, it's the same, but I mean the sound effects. Yeah, it sucks. It seemed like, yeah, that's literally what I was saying a little while ago. One thing goes right, three things go wrong. Interesting. I get ripped out.
Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that theme of you have to die is coming up a lot with Hasegawa, which is wild. Oh my god, the rope comment again. The fact that it actually has Madao on it is actually silly as hell. Jesus. Huh. She might know, she might not. Hmm. Yo, that's wild. But I'll bring a rope. Hmm. Pulling you up from hell. Yo, man. This is why Gintoki's the goat. Fucking hell, man, dude. When Gintoki is just... Oh, he's so good. That was terrifying. Fucking Heidi over here. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, and that's why he dresses as a dog. Joseph. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. What the fuck? Bro, are we about to see a guy dressed in a dog suit beat the crap out of out of Heidi? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, predicted that. Just flipped her. Wow. Fucking demon child. Jesus Christ. Yep, never give up. Yes, let's go. Wow, my doll. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. The Ido line Kiniko Buster molestation case. That is a crazy sentence. That makes sense to me. Yo, that's metal as fuck. Holy shit. Dude, I swear to God if it's King Toki. Yep, yep, yep. Dude. Well, that's ironic. Let's go. Sakana des. Yo, bro using his fucking his using his uh, his actual name too. Hitting him with the Sakana. That's wild. Cuz you never hear him refer to himself as Sakana. Hell, even even Gintoki really.
Yo, they are totally going. Uh, dude, dude, we are. Yes, to be continued. Dude, dude, we are getting it. I'm calling it. We are getting. There has to be an Ace Attorney reference in the next episode. 100%. There's no way they don't do one. Rawa. Oh, she Dynamo. Speed of flow. Oh, this part of the song makes me want to dance. Do like a stupid anime dance. Yaruni. Hell yeah. Yeah, the guitar nasty at the end of this song. There's nothing here. Okay. Uh, I wasn't sure, to be honest. Ah! Okay, that was episode 94 of Gintama. And it turns out, you know, this set makes perfect sense. 93 was a standalone episode. Moderately funny. Really weird. Uh, I know, like, all Gintama is weird. But, you know, some of them hit more than others. 93 was decent, but it wasn't, you know, it certainly wasn't a favorite by any means. This episode was really good, and it turns out we got some two-parter action. We're continuing this story into episode 95, and it's Hasegawa-centric. We love to see it. Actually getting some stuff with his wife, which hasn't come up in, like, I want to say, like, 70 episodes. Like, I feel like stuff with his wife was in, like, the 20s. Like, I don't remember exactly when we last saw her. To the point that I didn't actually connect who she was. Because, again, a lot of characters to track. And, um... And I think, like like I said, they were, like... That really... That was so long ago. When all that stuff, you know, when Hasegawa's life essentially blew up. Um... And she's, uh, not made many appearances. Despite being a huge kind of motivation in his life at, at, at various points. But, um... Yeah... I'm really excited to see this trial go down. Uh, Gintoki playing the defense attorney. We got uh, Haga, the prosecutor. I mean, this got to be, this is going to be funny. And I feel like there's just Gintama. There's just, it's Gintama. There's no fucking way there isn't at least one Ace Attorney reference, if not multiple or, you know, like just a large, you know, like there's just no way, right? There's no way we're doing a trial with a prosecutor and a defense attorney and this doesn't become an ace attorney reference to some extent, which as the resident ace attorney super fan that somehow still not played three of the games, and again, we will fix that eventually. Um, yeah, it, it seems likely. And obviously, Ace Attorney's old enough to be referenced here. Because Ace Attorney goes back as far as 2001. So it definitely, from a logical perspective, makes sense. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I'm I'm very much expecting uh, Gyakuten Saiban to get referenced in some form or fashion. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this trial even beyond that. Because uh, it's going to be really cool. You know, really kind of showing the bond between Hasegawa and Gintoki. And, and just the fact that Gin really cares for him. And that he's really willing to stand up for him. And it means something to him. And that's why he was honestly offended that Hasegawa didn't... Uh, is is uh, kind of almost dense enough not to realize just how much Gintoki cares about him and, and all that. And I think that was it, just absolutely fantastic to kind of see that from uh, Gin. I, I fucking loved it. So... Great fucking way to start the uh, 
to start the two-parter, everything about that. Just a ridiculous situation that's led Hasegawa into trouble. And, and Gein being the one that's going to stand up beside him and uh, support his boy. So really cool stuff all around. And I'm sure it's going to lead to a great episode with uh, Gein Toki and the prosecutor. And probably lead to a great, if not multiple great, Hasegawa moments in the upcoming episode. And I can't wait for it. Um, this actually feels like a significant event in his like story, in his overarching story. That's been something that's we've kind of, you know, every once in a while we add a little bit to Hasegawa's um, never-ending story, and uh, this feels like a fairly big event in the canon of Hasegawa, so to speak. So I'm really excited to see how this goes, and I think it's going to go really well in the end. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be a very bumpy road, but I think in the end we're going to get where we need to, and uh, I think it's going to be pretty awesome, to be honest. So I'm really excited to check this out, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have a whole lot else to say about episode 94. Uh, it was fun for sure, but uh, yeah, I feel like I kind of went over that. And then I guess also at the beginning, in the cold open, we had the, uh, just because they just uh, didn't, fully, um, you know, the production value was a little, a little, a little below standard, I guess you could say. Uh, they didn't fully animate it, fully draw it, fully color it. There was a lot going on that wasn't, um, in full anime glory, but, uh, obviously it's Gintaba and that's the meme. Um, so that was a fun way to start the episode. Didn't really give much of an indication as to where the episode was going because that was really just a kind of standalone bit and then basically the episode really started once we came back from the opening but really good stuff all around I really enjoyed that episode and I'm excited for episode 95 so uh, let's check out the title if you are a man be a madao yes yes I mean even if I didn't even if we weren't set up in a way where it's obvious the next episode was going to be about Hasegawa that would give it away I love that title that even further makes it feel like this is going to be a big fucking Hasegawa episode and it feels like it even though this is again clearly going to only be a two episode arc but this does feel like a big point in his story you know with his wife coming up again and his back being against the wall and uh, Gintoki standing up for him the way he is. Sakata, I should say. Um, that shit's fire. So I'm really excited for this. And that's just about it. So we'll let's let's check it out. I'm, I'm ready for a fucking trial. So let's jump into episode 95 of Gintama. All right, let's jump in to episode 95 of Gintama in 3, 2, 1, and play. Yeah, we're getting a little mini recap here. Yep. Yeah, just getting a quick recap of what happened last episode. The fucking Kiniku Buster, dude. So stupid. I don't know what's worse. The fact that that's a reference or the fact that, like, everyone just randomly knows what that is for some reason. To the point that they're even calling it that Ido Line Kiniku Buster case. Bro, he looks so hot with the glasses and the fucking suit, bro. Again, all I gotta say, dude, and the music is killing me. That that sight of Gintoki just makes me want to be Sachan even more. Sure. Miss A. Sure. Igiari. Yep. Wow. The fucking manga. Yep. 
Yeah, he actually sounds pretty... Yeah, I was going to say, he actually sounds professional. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, is he going to prove it? Wow! Referencing the manga like that. Oh my god. Iggy, all right! Erroneous, huh? Sure. Yeah, the pointing. There's not been a direct reference to Ace Attorney, but he keeps hitting him with the Igiari and he's pointing. Like, I'll take it, honestly. Hasegawa Buster. Oh, there's another Igiari. That's fair, honestly. He's turned the conversation into something completely different. Prince Kamehame. Oh my god. Ashura Busta. Damn. Yeah, I don't know if that really got you anywhere. Yeah. Yep, 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 dude. Dude, Geek Toki looks so fucking sick right now. Honestly, fair. Dude, now he's got the thing. Sugar and Zen. Of course. What the fuck? This is so stupid! <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What the no! No! And those were all given to him by Gein, weren't they? Wow, he's falling. Yep, yep. Wow. You're the dog again. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> yep, yeah. Oh, Sabu. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. I think this is taking Maiden Abyss to a new level. Holy fuck. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. I mean... The shit that people are into and watch, like... I honestly agree with that. Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god, the, the, the fucking, the court wants to watch it too. No! This is kind of proving the point though. You know, like... What the hell? What is happening? Yo! In slow motion. What the fuck, Commissioner? It gets worse. What the fuck? Now Grandpa's here. Yeah, it worked on the Commissioner, so... Sure. Honestly, probably not that wrong. 
Because that's the thing. Like, people have fantasies of bad things. That doesn't mean that they would act on those things, obviously. Bro, they literally... I, 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 yeah, because he, yeah, I was going to say, the commissioner's like, he's not going to pot kettle this shit. Nice, nice. I killed my granddaughter. And like barely gave a fuck too. Jesus Christ. Why? Oh no. Who are... Yeah, I was gonna say, you've been doing that too, suck at us, so it's hard for you. Again, that's a pot kettle argument. No! What the fuck? We're actually reviewing footage from the show. And a blast will sue you! No, my god, even with the OPs. No! No! The sniper episode! Yeah, it was the, the three episodes ago would be the last episode of the, of the previous set. That is insane. Yo, bro literally brought up fucking Gim Toki perving on a girl. That shit's wild. Damn, so he's trying to get the the attorney basically thrown out. Not necessarily in contempt, but like unfit to defend, basically. Partnership of scoundrels. To some extent, that's true, to be honest, but not... Yep, order in the court. Yeah, Haga is cooking, though. He This is definitely an Edgeworth-level... Prosecutor taking on a a fucking right level bullshit artist. Dude, you need to cook. You need to come up with some grade A Phoenix Wright bullshit right now, Sakata. Let's get it. Well, this just got horrifying. What the fuck? Nice. A legendary Japanese horror movie. The fuck? Oh my god. These these two are going hard. Well, he just said, I'm not a molester. You're essentially committing defamation because he wasn't... Yeah, he wasn't... He wasn't even arrested or anything. Well, that... Yeah, he just said, yeah, 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 yeah. You slipped up. You did, you did the worst thing. Yep, you did the worst thing you could have. Fucking damn it, Gein. Now you actually need some grade... Forget grade A. You need some grade S Phoenix Wright bullshit now. What? What? You're making it worse. Wow. Damn. Damn, dude, you just got cooked, Gein. I don't know if I've ever seen Gein get cooked quite like that. I've seen him almost die, but I don't think I've ever seen him get cooked. Mata!
まあああ you gonna lie in court? No, yep, he's too honorable of a man to do that. You don't have proof. Evidence is everything in a court of law. We, uh, I've played Ace Attorney, bro. Mm -hmm. We need the silver bullet. I would more argue that it makes him unfit to be the uh, prosecutor in this case, but... That's a that's an interesting turnabout. What's the gotcha moment? Wow! Wow! Damn! Jesus Christ! It does paint a story for sure. Yeah, that's not proper courtroom behavior, court, outside court behavior, I don't even know what to call it. I'm wondering if Hatsu's about to hit us with the crowd Igiari. That would be a very Eastern thing to happen. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. It's gotta be Hatsu, right? Or is Gein gonna come up with something crazy? Iggy Ari! What the fuck is happening? What the fuck? Bunch of fucking Heidi references here. Oh shit! Oh shit! There's your silver bullet! Bro, he was just holding this at the very end! Well, uh, do those women agree? Because you said that they, he said that they're his witnesses. Oh my god, what the fuck is Gein cooking? Hmm. Huh. Sure.
Well. Crazy. That's insane. What a beautiful story. Wow. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh no! The commissioner's a port addict, wild. Yeah, yeah, bro, bro is way too horny. Crazy. Oh, what a happy ending. Hmm. Damn. No. Hell yeah. Aww. That's the thing, Hasegawa. You have to realize the good shit. The no! No! He's gonna keep me cool, Buster Error! No! No! Oh my god, this really is Ace Attorney. He's gonna keep me cool, Buster, his wife! No! No! It happened again! God fucking damn it. They actually did that shit again. Is the fact that they actually did that shit again is actually psychotic. Wow, oh my god. Okay, that was episode 95 of Gintama. Hey, if you're going to be a man, be a madao. Let's go. That was amazing. Um great episode. Obviously, I love me a trial. Um in, especially in ja in any for and anything that constitutes something akin to a trial in Japanese fiction is always going to be fire. Um, I know that sounds like a lot of um, specifiers, but you'd be surprised how much that can actually still pertain to. But uh, yeah, I mean, I got my Ace Attorney episode. Basically, there wasn't like any like direct like blatant Ace Attorney reference, which knowing Gintama, I kind of was expecting one, but. The whole thing very much felt Ace Attorney, so I'm happy with that. But um, on a more serious note, Hasegawa, man, like, he's someone, and I've talked about this before, um, when I think of characters in this show and characters that I'm rooting to be happy, like, Hasegawa is maybe at the top of the list. Like, obviously, Hijikata, I think, is someone that I'm really rooting to be happy. Uh, Gintoki, like, I would really there's certain characters that I really want to see have like their happy endings. Right. And for things to work out in the end. And I would definitely put, um, ha um, um, Hasegawa near or at the top of the list. He's, he's someone who's been through a lot, but he's such a cool guy. And I really hope for the best for him. And, um, 
Yeah, I mean, this episode was, I think, one of the most, one of the best moments for him in the end, and one of the happier things that's happened to him in the 95 episodes of Gintama that we've uh, indulged in up to this point. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. Because uh, we're going to be doing 96 to 99 next time. And that'll be the end of the double digits. So we're... Yeah, I mean, this month we're going to jump into triple digits, which is crazy. We're going to have our first um, episode in the 100s before the uh, month is up. Barring any, you know, significant drop in productivity. But I, I do hope to, uh, you know, like I said... Have, th obviously, this video will be up on the 12th. It's 1 in the morning on the 9th, so it just turned from the 8th to the 9th while I was recording this video. So this is being recorded a little bit in advance, and then, um, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll uh, on the last Friday of the month will be the first uh, Triple Digits Gintama video, which um, is really exciting. I, I can't wait to... Uh, Get into triple digits. That's one of the big milestones that we're reaching in the next two videos between finishing the double digits with 96 to 99 and then actually jumping into the triple digits in the following video. So the next two videos represent, I would say, one of the biggest milestones. For me, there's really been two milestones. It was getting to the first movie and getting to triple digits. Those are the first really big milestones that we've basically reached. At this point, we've basically reached the triple digits. We're just about there. But um, it's really exciting to get to these moments, right? Because, like, that's the thing. We have essentially pretty much passed um, a quarter of the way through Gintama. And I know you hear that, and it's like... Like, that doesn't sound impressive, but, hey, we're a fucking quarter of the way there, and... We're going to do the whole thing. It might take a long fucking time, right? And obviously, we're a fuck. We're way long way away from getting to like episode two hundred one or whatever. But I do probably. I would imagine by the time I get there that I'm probably going to want to take a fairly significant break. I know after the movie we took like a one month break or whatever. It was pretty short, but uh, we're probably going to take a pretty significant break by the time we watch. Uh, still over a hundred more episodes of Gintama, hopefully every week, uh, consistently, hopefully, or at least close to that. So, but, um, you know, so there's a long way to go in this journey, but I would say that, yeah, after the triple digits, I think the next big milestone probably will be getting to our break point, which, uh, again, I, I always feel the need to check it. Cause I think I'm, for whatever reason, I always think that I'm getting it wrong, but I believe uh, let me let me just check it again. But I believe the break point that we're going to rock with is 201. Yeah, it's 201. Um, which is obviously a very long way away. But once we've hit triple digits, I I would say that that's probably the next big milestone is, is, is as 201. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, like, episode 200, but that goes in count with, you know, we barely touched the 200s when we hit the break point. Um, but, yeah, I... This was great. Like, Hasegawa is one of my favorite characters. I think he's one of the most relatable characters. I think he's one of the most sympathetic characters in the show. But not in the way that, like... Like, yeah, he's quote-unquote a loser. But, like, I feel like he he's going through, like, the honest troubles of the everyday man, right? Like, I think in a way that's relatable. Not in the way that, like, he's, like, an actual, like, fucking complete loser. It's just he's not had the best luck in life and he's working through it and he's a tough SOB and he keeps on fighting even though there's been multiple times where he's thought about quitting the fight and um you know ending it all and leaving forever but he didn't he's still here and whether that's because of his friends his wife whoever he's still here and he's still fighting and as long as you're in the fight, you got a chance to win the fight. Whatever that might mean for, you know, winning the fight is different for every individual. But you can't win the fight if you're not in it. That's why it's so important to keep on fighting. Because the only way to win is to fight. And you haven't, no matter how, how bad it feels, you haven't lost the fight until you're gone. You can always get back up and keep trying. 
And uh, that's, I think, a big part of what makes Hasegawa's story so uh, impactful, right? Like, it, why it resonates the way it does. Because even though he, even, like, yeah, and sometimes it's a joke, sometimes maybe not, but he's, you know, he sometimes struggles to keep fighting. But in the end, no matter what the context, he keeps on trucking. And that's why we, uh, we stand this man. He's a, he's a fucking goat. And, um, I am really happy with how that went. I'm, I'm really looking forward to hopefully the next time we see Hasegawa, he's, uh, maybe doing not too bad. And, uh, that'll be, that'll be exciting to check out, but he really needs to get that Kimiku Buster thing under control because, uh, he needs to stop doing that to random people on the street. Um, that it's kind of wild, bro. <laughs> the fact that you pulled that off accidentally twice is crazy. Um, impressive, but crazy. So, uh, yeah, that's some fun stuff. But yeah, no, I we're cooking. We've been watching a lot of Gintama lately, and obviously this was a shorter set. Um, next video will be, I guess... I guess four is kind of like normal. Three is normal too. Three to four is usually the normal amount. If I if I end up uh, doing two for a series, that's like a short video. Um, and I feel like if I end up doing five or more, that ends up is a large video. I feel like three three is the ideal set because I'm always comfortable with three. Four is I I, I still consider normal, but with four, I, I I often start to feel it. I feel like usually when I watch three episodes. Even by the end, I'm still feeling nice. I'm not feeling like... It doesn't beat me up, which is why I, I really adore when I get to do three episodes. Because I feel like less than three episodes, oftentimes it just doesn't always feel like enough content. And four episodes is where we sometimes start to crawl into it feeling like a bit much to do. Uh, five is a is a huge... like It's like... It's like three and then four and then five like five is a big jump but um we do that sometimes and sometimes we do even more but uh yeah i'm really excited i'm really excited for 96 to 99 i'm curious to see what that's going to be about uh we got a two-parter in this video so maybe we're gearing back up maybe we get like a, a two-parter or a three-parter or god forbid a four-parter in the next video that would be really sick um, you know, it's just hard to know with Gintama. Like, they don't really give you much indication most of the time, so you're kind of just going in blind. I mean, I know I call them blind reactions, but, uh, you know what I mean, right? Like, I, I can't really get much of a pulse on what we're going to be doing next time, and unless we get, like, an actual extended arc that doesn't finish in the video, rarely do I get too much of a feel as to where we're going, and that's part of the fun of this ride, it's hard to grasp where we're going because of the way the story is structured. And that's part of the fun. It's an adventure. And I've, um, you know, it's, it's, it's certainly a journey, but it's a different type of journey than you might expect for this type of show. And that's part of what makes Gintama interesting and unique. Um, among many, many things. Hell, you know, we had a freaking episode in this set where it started with... Uh, a freaking like weird pseudo storyboard. So anything can happen in Game Tom, especially if it's a production joke. But uh yeah, I think we're just about done with this um with this episode, this set, this video. So uh if you want to support the channel, Patreon, it's down below. Yeah, uh, Discord service down below if you want to check that out. You can message me, get in touch with me, you can hang out with people. Fun stuff. Um but yeah, anyways. Without any further ado, it's time for me to bid you adieu. The Flaming Shark signing out. Hope you all have a wonderful, fantastical day. And I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.